رمضان كريم 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 شهر عظيم 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 السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Let me start by reminding you all that nothing lasts forever, for even you will be returned. Every single person will taste death. There is no doubt about it. For we were not made for this world, rather we were made for the hereafter. You see, this world is more or less like an exam, like a test. You pass, you get rewarded. You fail, you get punished. Now in this case, the reward is Jannah, and the punishment is Jahannam. No one can or will escape death. Death is inevitable. This is proven in Surah Al-Nisa, verse 78, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Aina ma takun yudarikumul mauta wa law kuntum fi burujim shayyada. Wherever you will be, death will overtake you, even if your fortress is beautiful, strong, and high. If good reaches them, they say, this is from Allah. And if evil befalls them, they say, this is from you, O Muhammad. Kul kullum min indillah. Say, all things are from Allah. Fama liha ulail kawmi la yukaduna yafkahuna haditha. So, what is wrong with these people that they fail to understand any word, subhanAllah? Now, while every single thing is from our Lord, we have to remember that life and death also come from Him. So death can only happen with his permission alone. You will be returned to your Lord. There is no doubt about it. That is definite. Now what isn't definite is when. Do not fear. It should never be a trait of a Muslim to fear death. Rather, we should await it and prepare for it. Now without leaving this world and without entering into it, think about it. We can never reach Jannah, which should be our ultimate goal. We cannot always hope and pray for Jannah and not taste death. Death is like a door, like a passage. Just like in the first room when you open the door and you walk in, you find yourself in another room. Death is like an intermediary between this world and the hereafter. To get to the hereafter, to reach Jannah, you have to walk through death. So every Muslim during this holy month should put it behind their heads that death is lurking in every single thing we do. Whether we are eating, drinking, laughing or talking, no matter how strong, wealthy or brave you are, death will come for you, my sister and brother. Now let me round this all up from a hadith from Aisha radiallahu anha. She said to the messenger of Allah, O emissary of God, shall there be anyone that will be resurrected alongside the Matthias? And he said, yes, he who remembers death 20 times in one night and one day. May Allah help us all. Ma salam. Ramadan Kareem, 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 Shadrun Azim, Azim, Azim. Qum lil ibadah, talqa al-sa'adah, Qum lil ibadah, talqa al-sa'adah.